Hello friends, welcome back to Technique. Today we'll be doing a camera comparison of two camera-centric devices uh, in the mid-range segment. The newly launched Oppo Reno 11 5G, which is priced around 30,000 rupees. And we're going to compare it with the Vivo V29 Pro launched late last year. Now, there is a 10K difference between these two devices, but why we have chosen uh, the Vivo V29 Pro instead of the Vivo V29 is because this has a telephoto lens for portrait, very similar to the telephoto lens on the Oppo Reno. 11 5G. So that makes the comparison much easier because both of these devices have 50 megapixel camera, then a telephoto lens with 2x uh, optical zoom, then an 8 megapixel ultra wide, and a pretty good selfie camera as well. So let's go straight into the camera comparison of these two devices the Renault 11 5G with the Vivo V29 Pro. And let's see which performs better in the camera department. So before that, if this is your first time on this channel, do hit that red subscribe button and also hit the bell icon to get notified of all the videos we publish. So let's begin. So first, let's have look at the hardware of the Oppo Reno uh, 11 5G. So this device comes with a primary 50 megapixel camera as a Sony uh, light 600 sensor uh, with f1.8 aperture it has uh, OIS then uh, the telephoto lens is again a Sony's IMX709 sensor 32 megapixel uh, camera with f2.0 aperture then the third is an 8 megapixel ultra wide angle camera which is again a Sony IMX355 sensor with f2.2 aperture now moving on to the uh, selfie camera you get a 32 megapixel selfie camera on the uh, Oppo Reno 11. Now next year let's go straight into the camera of uh, the Vivo V29 Pro. Now the Vivo V29 comes with uh, V29 Pro rather comes with uh, a 50 megapixel Sony IMX 766 sensor with f1.8 aperture. It also has optical image stabilization. Then uh, you get a 12 megapixel uh, telephoto lens with 2x uh, capabilities. Then uh, you also get an 8 megapixel ultra wide angle camera. And on the selfie front uh, we get a 50 megapixel eye autofocus camera which is again a really good uh, uh, selfie camera. So that was the camera hardware of these two devices. So let's go straight into the camera samples to see how they perform so let's first begin with the daylight captures so in terms of daylight condition what you can clearly see is that the colors are different uh, while the details and sharpness alerts are pretty much uh, good you can see that the colors on the vivo v29 pro are a lot saturated and richer while the oppo reno 11 maintains more or less natural colors and the dynamic range looks quite similar on both the devices uh, maybe vivo did have a slight advantage over the oppo but more or less uh, we would say both that look pretty good in terms of dynamic range but once again you can see that the colors are a lot saturated on the vivo v29 pro now sharpness levels are pretty good uh, and uh, when you zoom into the pictures you can see here both the phones offer pretty much uh, good details but what separates them is the color saturation which is more accurate on the oppo reno 11 compared to the uh, saturated colors on the vivo v29 pro so if you are a person who likes very natural colors then probably the oppo is the better choice here while if you are a person who wants richer tones and richer colors and if you want to post on social media probably the richer tones on the vivo v29 pro makes sense now let's go to the ultra wide angle camera here again the results are similar colors are saturated on uh, uh, the vivo v29 pro but it's uh, more or less uh, natural on uh, the uh, oppo reno uh, 11 and uh, you can see that the details are quite similar uh, with the 8 megapixel shooter nothing much uh, great uh, on either of the devices now moving on to the telephoto lens once again both does a pretty good job with 2x uh, zoom and uh, the details and sharpness levels are quite good on both the devices but uh, vivo's images are once again a lot saturated now looking at the close-up shots you here also you can see here details are plenty uh, the sharpness levels are once again uh, really great on both the devices but colors are once again a lot richer and saturated on the vivo v29 pro uh, while oppo uh, maintains more or less natural color which is something which uh, we really like now next let's move on to the portraits this is one of the strong points of both the devices here once again you can see that uh, uh, the skin tone Oppo Reno 11 while uh, the colors on uh, the Vivo V29 Pro are rich you can also see that the skin colors are a bit orangish in color and also it is more brighter but if you want a real like uh, portraits then probably the uh, Oppo Reno 11 5G makes sense but one thing what you notice is that the LG detection is slightly better on the Vivo V29 Pro but overall if you are looking at uh, really good portraits uh, or natural looking portraits then uh, the Oppo Reno 11 5G makes much better sense now both the 
devices can take portraits in 1x as well as 2x uh, mode. Now moving on to the low light uh, conditions. Uh, in indoor lighting conditions, both uh, did a quite good job. You can see here very similar results from both the devices in indoor artificial light. Again, uh, colors uh, looks almost uh, similar but when it comes to extreme low light that's where vivo v29 pro does a better job the dynamic range is much better than uh, uh, the oppo reno 11 5g and uh, even sharpness levels are also better on the vivo v29 pro you can see here the dynamic range and it resolves shadows much better than uh, the uh, oppo reno 11 5g so in terms of uh, the low light conditions specifically the extreme low light conditions uh, the vivo v29 pro is the better choice here so next let's move on to the selfie camera now once again both produces pretty good selfies vivo has a richer tone with a 50 megapixel shooter while oppo retains natural colors with uh, the uh, 32 megapixel shooter now both uh, did a quite good job now selfies are more of a personal choice what do you guys think about the selfies which one did you like uh, and even the portrait selfies also turned out to be pretty good on both the devices so that was the selfie camera of these two devices let's move on to the video recording now in terms of video recording you can see that both uh, have uh, 4k 30 fps video the stabilization is much better on the vivo v29 pro but the colors are uh, better on the oppo reno 11 5g but if you are okay with the slightly saturated colors the vivo has a better uh, video recording much better stabilized footage than the oppo reno 11 now the 1080p footage also is similar the stabilization is definitely better on the vivo v29 pro even though both of these have uh, uh, optical image stabilization the overall quality definitely looks better on the vivo v29 pro especially the sharpness levels detailing and also uh, the uh, the stabilization which does better than the oppo reno 11 5g so this is the front facing camera sample taken using the oppo reno 11 so this can record videos in 4k 30 fps which is again pretty good so you can judge yourself how good the clarity of the videos and also the audio output so this is the front facing camera sample taken using the vivo uh, v29 pro it can record videos in 4k 60 fps that's something which is pretty good uh, for a phone in this price segment so you can judge yourself how good the clarity of the video is so that was the detailed camera comparison of the vivo v29 pro with the newly launched oppo reno 11 5g now summing up which is better now there is no clear winner in uh, this camera comparison what we liked is the video recording is better on the vivo v29 pro it's more stabilized footage and the details are good even though it is slightly saturated but if you look at uh, the color quality of the photos uh, that's where the oppo reno 11 5g does a really good job excellent uh, detailing and colors are retained to the core natural looking colors while the vivo v29 pro has a lot richer and saturated colors now the portraits also was better on the oppo reno 11 5g but probably looking at the portraits i would say the oppo reno 11 5g did a slightly better job because the colors were natural the skin tones were natural the edge detection was slightly better on the vivo v29 pro now low light performance was definitely better on the vivo v29 pro compared to the oppo reno 11 5g the reno uh, 11 5g has a bit more fine tuning needed for the low light capture so uh, which one did you like do let us know your thoughts in the comment section we would say both did a quite good job except for the color reproduction both were quite similar uh, because some people do like a richer tones but while some people do like natural tones so it's up to you to decide which one did you like so that's the detailed camera comparison do let us know what you guys think about these devices and which one is your pick of the two so that's it for this video this is normal signing off thanks for watching hope to see you in our next video have a great day